All right, what's up everybody? John here with my very first sequel video of sorts. Uh, you may notice where we are located and it is the Epcot Park at Disney World and we are about to participate in the traditional drinking around the world. Now last time we attempted this challenge, we succeeded. Nobody puked. This time we're gonna be doing it again, but instead of starting in Mexico, we're going to be heading to Canada. Here we are, stop number one, Canada. Our neighbors to the north. We are enjoying La Fin du Monde, a 9% beer all the way from Quebec, or Quebec, or Quebec. Depends on how you like to pronounce things. Pretty tasty, uh, it's very strong. So let's start off on a high note, or a high ABV. Aha. We're here at stop number two. We are in the great country of England. We were just enjoying a pint over at the Rose of Crown pub. What we did have was a, uh, a bumblebee, which is half Boddington's and half Guinness. As you can see, my glass is a uh, almost empty, so, or as the uh, the uh, the optimist in me, it's uh, just about, <laughs> just starting to be full. Uh, it was very tasty, very nice mix of two different beers together. The delicious Bumblebee beer and the Rose of Crown Pub. Half Boddington's, half Guinness. Cheers. Stop number three, France, with our drinking around the world adventure. We got ourselves some Cronenberg 1664. That's right, this is the only beer that's actually available here in the France Pavilion. But don't fret it. But don't fret if you still want to get your drink on. They have plenty of wines, champagnes, and mixed drinks for you to enjoy. They've got some sort of Grand Marier slushy. There's a Grey Goose slushy, and there is tons of wines. They've got wine sampling, and if you want some sort of dessert, if you've got a sweet tooth, then this is definitely the place to go. For drinking, you've got to keep going, so you have to have a beer here. Um, there's just only one to choose from. So if you're indecisive like myself, then they make it easy here in France. So thank you, France. Cheers.
stop number four here in Morocco, and sorry that I had to get you out of the restaurant. We were in a nice little place, which was the Spice Road Table. Very small, very intimate, and I didn't want to be a doofus and make a video in front of people and next to people who were enjoying their dinner. Small platters that they have available of all uh, Moroccan and local area uh, selections. Very tasty. We had the brie something or other. I don't know what brie, uh, some sort of cheese. Thing. Uh, but the beer that we had in this country was the Casa beer, which is out of Morocco. Uh, it's the only beer that is actually Moroccan available uh, in this section of the park. Uh, we also sampled the Almaza beer, which is from Lebanon. So in the area of Morocco, uh, Morocco they also have selections from Greece, Libya, and I don't remember the other one. But yeah, so uh, Casa beer from Morocco. Pretty standard, nothing special, nothing like, oh my god, you gotta have that beer if you had a beer. Uh, if you're at a bar outside and you wanna have owner the Mar uh, Moroccan beer, but if you're doing the drinking around the world, Casa beer is the one that you're gonna want. So we're gonna continue exploring this section and then we'll be moving on to the next stop on the drinking around the world tour. Step number five for our Drinking Around the World tour here in Japan. So, Konnichiwa. Uh, we had to make our way all the way back to the sake bar for a very special beer, which I just forgot what it's called. G Ginga Kogen. It's only available at the back bar here. All the other bars will get you your standard here in Ichiban and your acai. Uh, so, if you want to get something unique and exclusive, come all the way to the back and I'll show you exactly how to find it. Enjoy. So if you're looking for that Ginga Kogan beer, I'll show you where to find it here at the Japanese Pavilion at the World Showcase in Epcot. Follow me. Well, hello. Here we are at stop number six, America. Home of the free, land of the brave, or land of the free, home of the brave. One of those two, sorry, I'm just visiting. I'm not from here or anything. <laughs> As you can see, America still has its Christmas decorations up because Christmas is a huge commercial holiday here in the United States of America. Now here at the America Pavilion of Epcot, they have a wide selection of beer if you go to the right place. If you go to the first main stop, you'll get your choice of Budweiser and Yingling. Maybe you can get some Sam Adams, but if you go just a little bit further on your way to Japan, you have a much wider selection of craft beer. Now that's kind of the thing here in America is craft beer because craft breweries are popping up everywhere. The one that we are particularly tasting today is all the way from Boston, Massachusetts, and it is a UFO twist, which has some sort of orange and some B word that I don't even know what it is. It's very tasty, it's very flavorful, and it's delicious, which is the same as tasty. So here, from America, cheers. Stop number seven. We are in Italy at the Epcot Pavilion and we are having a little uh, Moretti, uh, the red. So it's a little bit of a darker beer than the regular beer, uh, Moretti. Uh, as you can see here behind us, you've got the tower from St. Mark's Square. 
There's also lots of other things that you can see here in the Italy Pavilion that are uh, miniature scale versions of the stuff that you can find when you actually travel to Italy. If you want to try any good pasta, fish, or any type of um, desserts, this is the place that you're going to want to be. There's a mime show, uh, and then just this is the place where you want to eat. If you're into Italian foods, you're going to want to check out uh, the Italy Pavilion here in Epcot. I'm just going to pass by and have some beer because Italian food, not necessarily my thing. Enjoy! Recording. What number is it? Eight. eight. What's up, everybody? We are on drink stop number eight, and we are in the great country of Germany. Now we are here having and enjoying and finishing up our eighth beer, and that is the Ot Munster Oktoberfest, or something along those lines. I don't remember what it is. And the Schaffenhofer uh, grapefruit beer. One of those two beers we've been having. Uh, we're at number eight, so. Please forgive me if I don't remember the exact name of the beer I've been drinking. It's very tasty. There's a lot to do here in the Germany Pavilion here at Epcot. There's gift shops with lots of stuff to buy. There's a family style feast that you can go with bratwurst and all that fun stuff. And then you can get some snacks, some pretzels, and some more German style beers. So if you're into Germany food, or German style food as normal people would say, that don't have a weird speech problem, like myself, uh, then come to Germany because it's got a lot of great food, a lot of filling food, a lot of sauerkraut, a lot of bratwurst, um, and some great beers. So come check that out. And again, this is beer number eight, so please forgive me. Mitsukoshi. No, that's the Japanese one. We can look at the freaking sign. Hold on. Hello, everybody. We're here at stop number nine. We are in China having a tasty and delicious and crisp Tsingtao beer. Not many uh, choices here in the China Pavilion at Epcot for beers to drink. Tsingtao is pretty good standard that you can get at any other Chinese food restaurant in your local hometown that you're going to be eating at. But clearly there is also a lot of shopping that you can do as well as some history that you can learn about when visiting the China Pavilion. They have a 360 degree theater for the history of China. You can come to any other of these little shops and you can get any type of little goodies, a little puppet, little calendars, a bunch of stuff for that Chinese urge that you need to fill when it comes to souvenir. Uh, once again, this is drink number nine of the World Showcase Drinking Around the World. So we are getting close to the end. Just two more drinks left to go. And we are here currently at China. What's up? We're at beer stop number 10, Norway, and we've got a little bit of a non-Norwegian beer because they actually don't sell any Norwegian beer here in Norway at Epcot. But we've got the Einstock White Ale, which is all the way from Iceland, or Iceland, however you decide to pronounce it. Um, it is actually pretty good. It's a... Uh, not too bad, actually. I, I prefer it. Uh, but yeah, so the Norway Pavilion, 
Lots of stuff to do here. If you want to come for your beer, you've got Carlsberg, you've got your 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 Iceland beer. There's also another beer that you can pick uh, that I didn't choose. You've got some food, but the big important thing about coming to Norway in Epcot is you've got your frozen ever, ever after ride, which if you're willing to wait about an hour, two hours maybe, to ride on a boat ride with Anna and Elsa, go ahead. Or you could choose to meet Anna and Elsa, and you could do that for probably less than the amount of time it takes for the ride. But either or, or in the morning they do have a breakfast with the princesses, uh, not Anna and Elsa, but other princesses within the Disney community, you can eat breakfast and talk with them as well. Epcot and uh, the Norway Pavilion is pretty good. The beer is not very Norwegian, but it's okay. But the stuff is very authentic that goes on here. So this is beer number 10 from Iceland, not Norway, and it's very tasty. everybody from drinking around the world stop number 11 the last and final stop we are here in Mexico and we are enjoying the local beers that they have uh, for offering here in the uh, pavilion of Mexico at the Epcot Center in uh, Orlando Florida I chose to go with the Modelo Especial because Dos Equis I've just been able to have too much of that at home so Modelo is a little bit more rare back where I'm from but it's still available often so there's not, nothing too unique too exotic in Mexico but the food is pretty good as well as if you go inside the Aztec temple you'll be able to see a lot of gift shops with a lot of stuff to buy as well as a, a tequila sampling so if you are doing drinking around the world and you are doing beer then beer is okay but if you are doing drinking around the world and you're trying mixed drinks start in Mexico because the tequila sampling is pretty awesome, as well as the frozen margaritas. And that's the way to go. And it makes it kind of weird because everything else, you can get a pretty good beer, but Mexico, the mixed drinks are way better than the beer. So thanks for watching, and this is the final drink stop here at the Drinking Around the World Showcase. Stop number 11, and it's Mexico. So bienvenidos a la Mexico. And muchas gracias for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Woo!